Welcome back to the Demon Slayer Gamer Channel. We're going to be continuing our Final Fantasy XIV Dungeon Guide series today. And we're going to be taking a look at the second of the A Realm Reborn Alliance Raids, Circus Tower. After the video, if this helps you out in any way, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as it really does help me out. Starting off, you can either go left or right, but you'll just want to be proceeding up the stairs. Once you get to the first set of ads, you'll go ahead and just round them all up and AOE them down. Usually you'll want to try to face them away from the rest of the group. But make sure you're getting any of the stragglers because they don't all come in one pack. So make sure that you're going over and picking up all the shinobis and kunoichis. The yellow dragon can do AoE damage, but there's not really much to worry about here. It's just a pick up and AoE down kind of thing. Once all those are dead, you'll proceed up the stairs. And again, you can proceed either left or right, it doesn't matter. The first boss is going to be Cilia. You'll want to just take him in the center of the platform. He can do topple, which is a circular AoE around him, but it doesn't do very much damage, so it's almost not even worth moving out of. Whenever people get marked with purple identifiers and a purple orb begins to follow them, you want to drag them to the glowing pillars on the outside of the platform, there is three different ones. These can hold three sets of lightning orbs. So if you see one that's already lit up with three colors, then you'll have to drag it to a different one. Then ads will spawn on the platform and begin charging AOEs. Most groups are just going to ignore these completely and burn down Scylla. But if I'm not main tanking, I like to go and finish them off just to make the fight a little bit easier. Throughout the fight, there will also be fire orbs and ice orbs that will be spawning. The ice orbs, whenever they run into the person they are tethered to, will freeze them. If they are near anyone else, it will also freeze those people, so try to make sure you're moving away from other people. The people that have the fire orbs will want to drag them to the people that are frozen to get them out of the freeze. This will also leave behind a water pool that will be used to reduce the damage of Ancient Flare. But again, the damage is not that much anymore, so it's not that big of a deal to worry about. After finishing them off, you'll just proceed up the stairs. For the next set of adds, again, you'll just pick them all up and AOE them down. After all of these are dead, and then a dragon will come down and you'll have to pick him up and finish him off also. There will also be sets of clones that will spawn towards the entranceway that you came into the area. So off tanks that don't have the dragon, make sure you're picking these up so they're not just going around and hitting the rest of the group. Afterwards, you'll again proceed up the stairs. And then use the jump pad to go to the second boss. For the second boss, he's become so trivial that everyone will just burn him down. There isn't very many mechanics that you need to watch out for either. He does do circular AoEs on the ground that you can move out of, but the damage from them is very minimal. His cone AoE is very easy to move out of also as it's very small. Then 
and he gets down to about 35%. He'll summon some ads onto the platform that will tether to him and begin to heal him. These ads are not damageable unless someone is standing in the circle with them. While that person's in the circle, they cannot do anything, so it relies on someone else killing the ad while they're in there. So most groups are just going to burn down the boss and overpower the amount of healing that he is receiving as he doesn't heal faster than the amount of damage that the group can do. Proceeding up to the stairs, we'll bring you to the next set of ads. which will have three Azer that you'll just pick up an AoE down, while there is a red dragon up above shooting fireballs. He will also target random people and do a flame breath in their direction. Once the three Azer are dead, then the dragon will land along with several other adds spawning. Just pick all of these up and AoE them down. So bring you to the third boss, Amon. This boss does have a one-shot mechanic, so even now you will need to pay attention to at least one mechanic. He does have several AoEs, so you'll want to keep him facing away from the group if you're tanking him. Anytime the adds spawn onto the platform, you'll want to kill them as quick as possible. The experimental byproducts will just begin walking towards Amon. You want to kill them before they reach him, otherwise they'll explode. The Kum Kums are going to go after random people and they do AoEs. Shortly after they spawn, then several people also spawn orbs that will begin walking towards them. You can walk these into the Kum Kums and it will minimize them, reducing their damage and increasing how much damage they take, which will make killing them a lot quicker. Later in the fight, he'll turn several people into frogs, and they have a fire breath ability that is allowed to break the ice that he will then put on several people. The snakes that will spawn shortly after will begin to target the people that are turned into frog, and so you'll want to move away from the snakes if they get close to you while breaking the people out of the ice. You want to make sure that you don't break the second set of ice as you need to get behind them to avoid the curtain call ability, otherwise it will one-shot the party. If you get rid of all of the ice cubes and there is nothing to hide behind, then there will be a group wipe and you'll have to restart. After Amon, though, you'll proceed straight towards the final boss. For the final boss, Burning Rave is just going to do circular AoEs that you'll want to move out of. When he summons the yellow orbs on the platform, then you'll have to have one person in each of the circles.
When he teleports away, he'll then summon several falling stars around the outside of the platform along with one in the middle. You'll just want to go kill the stone fall circles and the star fall circle before those will crash into the platform. The ones on the outside fall faster than the one in the middle does, so it's better to kill the outside ones first. But they're so easy to kill now that it's not that big a deal. He'll then do three separate group up mechanics that these are not like the, the more recent expansions that you need to split them up. You can actually group them all up. Afterwards, it'll put a AOE on the ground that you'll need to be standing in to avoid the ancient quag, which will kill you if you are on the ground whenever he casts it. He'll then do a few AOEs before teleporting away again. This time summoning several more stone fall circles and then the one star fall in the middle. You just work your way around the platform killing these. He'll come back to the platform doing the three group up mechanics one more time. Again, make sure that you're standing inside of the AOE so that you are put into the air so that the Ancient Quag afterwards does not kill you. Move out of the Burning Rave. And this should be it for Circus Tower. I hope this helped everyone out. If it did, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you on the next one.